What's going on guys, Beastly Gamer here and welcome to the Beastly Gamer channel. Stay tuned to the end of the video, I'm going to announce another giveaway. Well today's video is going to be a little bit different guys. I wanted to kind of share a personal story with you. Uh, something that happened to me years ago that at the time was incredibly embarrassing. But as an adult and as a father, looking back at it, it was really <laughs> endearing and, and kind of funny. Uh, the year was 1989, I was in elementary school in Ohio and uh, it was Halloween. And so Halloween season, the kids were allowed to get dressed up and live out their fantasies of being witches and mummies and Frankenstein and vampires and fairies and witches. And uh, this day in particular, I didn't have a costume. My mom uh, knew that we didn't have costumes, me or my older brother. And uh, she swore to us that she would come to the school sometime during that day and drop off our costumes. Now keep in mind, my mom was very poor. Uh, she she basically was living from paycheck to paycheck, living off of government aid, and uh, she wasn't she didn't have a lot of money to squander, and that's just the way it was growing up uh, in my life. And so I was kind of worried. I was watching the kids in class. Everybody had their masks on. They were assuming new identities. You know, you see Doctor Doom walk up to you and stare at you. It's kind of uh, intimidating, especially if you don't have a costume. So I'm watching the hours tick by. It probably got close to 10 o'clock. Uh, AM before I heard my name being called on the PA system. I was extremely ecstatic. I said, oh God, she she actually told the truth. She she brought me a Halloween costume. Me and my older brother were up there. So as I got up front to the uh, to the principal's office and the, the you know the secretaries and whatnot, my mom had already left. But the secretary was standing there, she was kind of looking at me. Kind of weird, like what the hell? I didn't know why as a child, but she handed me the bag. And my mom dropped off a bag. I saw my principal standing in her doorway, doorway looking at me too. And I was just happy. I looked inside the bag and I saw a Jason mask. I said, oh yes. Jason, I'm a little nine year old boy. I'm getting ready to tear shit up. And so I, I said thanks to the uh, secretary. I took my bag and I skipped on down the hallway towards uh, the bathroom. And so I get into the bathroom, you know, it's an old school bathroom, there's no curtains on stalls, it's just a wide open space. And I walked in there and I looked in the bag and I saw my Jason mask and by now I could tell that the mask glowed in the dark. Well, I guess gloom? It was glowing in the dark. And so I was extra powerful at that point. I figured if it was nighttime someplace I could still slay my enemies, right? So I pulled the mask out, I sat it on top of the counter in the bathroom and I looked inside the bag and lo and behold, what do I see? I see brown and black polka dots. And so I, I see these polka dots staring at me and my mind starts to go through the Rolodex of what this could possibly be and how in the hell it coincides with the Jason mythos or the Jason canon. And so I reach inside the bag and try to imagine, I'm slowly pulling this thing out because I don't know if it has any peripherals or gadgets on it. I pull it out and then I realize what it is. It's a caveman suit. Black and brown polka dot caveman suit that comes up and goes loops over one shoulder. So it's a one shouldered caveman suit. I look inside the bag and I'm like, what, did she mess up? What's going on? What, is mom okay? I look inside the bag and I see a blow up, uh, I guess, a club that cavemen use. And so I blew it up. And I know a lot of you guys are gonna say, Beastly, please don't tell me you wore the caveman and Jason outfit. I regret to inform you that I actually wore the entire thing. I even blew up my damn little uh, caveman rod too. I blew that up and I, I took off my shirt, slinked this caveman thing over my shoulder and I commenced to continue my day. I walked in class and my teacher, <laughs> she looked at me like I was crazy and I didn't care. You know, I'm a kid, I'm Jason from the prehistoric days. All my friends were looking at me, they were all kind of giggling like, what, what, what is that? Uh, I told him, you know, we were all kids. I said, this is Jason, but it was Jason back when the dinosaurs lived. I had to make something up. It's a really jacked up story. And I tell it to my mom every year when I visit her. What do you guys think? You guys think my mom set me up for the okie doke? Do you think that maybe because she didn't have a lot of money, she just bought whatever she could afford? As an adult, I look back at it now and it's really funny. It's an endearing story and it builds character if you're able to go through things like that. And so my question for you guys, and this is actually going to feed directly into my giveaway. What happened in your childhood that was incredibly embarrassing at that time that you look back at now and it was one of the funniest or cutest things? It, it doesn't have to be you. It can be somebody you know. 
I just like funny stories like that. And what I'm going to do in two days, I'm going to do my giveaway. I'm going to pick from one of the comments below. So leave a good one. And I will contact you by email and let you know that you won. As always, share the video with all your friends, guys. Let everybody on Facebook and Twitter know about this channel. It's really growing and it's really awesome. I thank you all for being such great subscribers. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.